what's up? Welcome to another one of my video tutorials. My name is Josh, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a wand effect on Adobe After Effects. So first, we're going to bring our movie, our project, into the timeline. We're going to drop it in. Then, we're going to make a new solid layer, and we're going to call it Inside. Inside 1. And we're going to make the color white. Okay, like that. I'm going to push OK. So now we're going to go to the eye, press it so we can work, and go to the place where you want to use your magic. Like, where you fire it. For me, it would be right there. So we're going to go get our pen tool and sketch out a bubble, kind of like shape. Like, we're going to kind of match it like that. So once you have that, we're going to push the eye so the inside of that turns white. Like that. Now, we're going to go to masks and mask opportunities. And we're going to make our mask path. Push the clock to where it starts. And then we're going to go to the place where our magic ends. So right here. So push that diamond. Boom. Like that. So then we're going to get our move tool and make it go to the place where we want it at the end. So right there. So that's pretty much all. So it's basically the moving part. Bam. Now we're going to make it where our magic stops and ends. So we're going to make it. So that's where it starts. And our magic ends right there. So we're going to drag that right to there. So it's basically like that. Good job. Next, we're going to go to Effects, Effects, Distort, Turbulent, Displace. We're going to make the amount about 104 and the size about 7, like that. Now we're going to close it, and we're going to go Control d like that. Now we're going to make the amount a little higher, about 127, like that. Now we're going to go to Effect. Blur and Sharpen and flash, Fast Blur. We're going to make the blurriness about 2 and repeat edge pixels. I'm going to close it and now we're going to go to Effect again. Stylize Glow. So this, we're going to make the glow radius about 30 and the glow intensity 0 0.5. So now we're going to close it. Control D, Duplicate. Go to the glow radius and make it 60. Once you have that, you're basically done with all that. Now we're going to add the color. To add the color, you need a black background. So to do that, we're going to go to color correction, colorama. Once we have that, we're going to go to input phase. And then we're going to go to intensity, alpha. Close it and go to your output cycle and make it ramp gray like that. So we basically have our black background now. Now we can close that and we're going to go here and we're going to change it to screen like that. Now we have a black background behind you. You just can't see it. Now we're going to go to color correction and color balance. Now you could see you could make it highlight blue, highlight green, highlight red and all of those other colors. You can make any color you want. So we're going to make ours red. Like this. A nice, awesome red. Like that. So once you have that, you can close it. And that's basically all. It's really easy. It's not hard. So now it will basically look like this. Watch. We're going to render it real quick. And I'll show you how it will look like. It will look really awesome. So, let's let it render. Okay, watch. This is going to be cool. Cool, huh? Yeah, I know. I know it's cool. I know. So, thank you for watching my video tutorial, and...
next time I'm gonna make like when you use a spell or something when you use your Protego spell or whatever it is and the smoke effect kind of heat that flows back and that's the next thing next thing I'll show you so thank you